Hello, everybody, welcome to a brand new Let's Play series in Hearts of Iron 4, Kaiser. Today, we're just going to finish off all of the American uh, Civil War factions. So, we played as Pacific States, we played as Pacific States. Uh, just a few weeks ago, we finished up with McMartha, and I fig figured out, like, why not just get the American Union State out of the way? So, that is, uh, that's what our plan is. Uh, we are playing on the new update, which uh, the past few... S okay, we actually, we don't want the War Department expansion, right? Yeah, we want to do the, the uh, Gardner Wagner bill. That's what we want to do first. So we want to cancel you. We don't we don't need you right now. In fact, we kind of want to weaken the Americans as much as we possibly can because we're not going to be playing as the federal government. We are playing on the new update. Uh, so there's a few more uh, Folk Street stuff like that. And also the game runs, uh, as far as I can tell, a lot smoother than it used to, which I do appreciate a great deal. Um, so we also got that. Let's just go for the basic 1918. Uh, the port equipment, factories... What if we just build all of our military factories down in the south? Just no no reason at all. Just, just uh, why not? So, 300 days deal with the Great Depression. We'll get our army and navy experience ready to go. Uh, yeah, we don't have that many divisions. I think we can start with like six or something like that. So, we got five divisions here. That actually is everybody. We'll just put them in Washington for now. And we have free military factories. So, I think we're just going to kind of. Again, it doesn't really matter what we make at this particular moment in time. Uh, you know what? Build a handful of National Guards as well. Like, I don't want to, like, make it so easy for us that, um... We just completely cripple the, the federal government. I mean, the federal government with Nick Arthur in charge is going to be horrible anyway, so we don't really need to worry about it too, too much. And, of course, we're going to elect uh, Huey Long. We're going to do as much as we can to buff up the South as much as possible, because they are... Not the weakest faction. The weakest one is definitely the Pacific States. But compared to, say, the CSA, they are definitely uh, like uh, lacking behind there. So, we want to do everything we can. Get as many governors in good positions. We want to give ourselves uh, as much of a boost as we possibly can. I, why have the game pause? Do not pause the game. As you can see, like just look at the time. Like It's going so much faster than uh, so many of our recent starts. Which I appreciate. Thank you uh, a lot for the Crash Rec Des for making things you know more efficient. Uh, than they happened in the past. We got the Charter. There is a new King of Canada. Nothing too surprising there. So see if we can just, I, I don't think like too much. Senators break rank. Let's compromise with the American First Party because I don't know if that makes a difference or not. I don't actually know if we do we want the bill to pass. Social liberalism goes down. We get some more stability. You reduce political power. Oh yeah, no, we, then we can fund the South, right? And we can actually make the South stronger. We actually do want the, the bill to pass. And then we kind of put as much industry as we possibly can in the Southern United States. Or in the North. It's just whatever gives us the most um, support. Yeah, we've compromised with the American First Party. I'm not too sure which faction the coalition ticket. Uh, no, we're not going to do that quite yet. So, we have now been hit by Black Monday. So, we got, uh, got the Great Depression. We got Black Monday. America is not in a great shape at the start of Kaiserreich. But like I was saying, I'm not too sure which American faction we're going to go for. I don't know if we're going to stick with uh, Huey, if we're going to go for the, um, what, was, what are the other ones? The other one is, like, the War Committee's Act? Like, the War Committee, the War Committee people? Um, or, or like the business plot, or if we're going to go with, uh, is it Pele still? Like, is he still the one that's in charge of the national populace? Like, the most cursed path that you can possibly go for with the United States? I'm not too sure who exactly we're going to go with yet. I do know... Oh, the bill has passed. Fantastic. Um, I do know that it has, um, like, an impact. Like, I know decisions you take throughout, I think, the American Civil War does kind of change things. So maybe I'll just put, like, after, like, after a few episodes, I'll, like, because I'm probably going to record, let's say, three episodes, I would say. Um, I'll probably put up a poll. Actually, maybe after this episode, I'll just quickly throw up a poll, being like, which American first faction should we go with? Uh, we lose a little bit of stability. It does, we want to actually make the authoritarian democratics more popular, so we'll shut him down. Got another get National Guard unit. We might as well put some leaders in charge here. 
put in good old Douglas MacArthur, uh, who is very soon going to be our enemy here. We can send more troops to legation cities. I don't think that matters at all. I mean, we can, you know what? Let's just do it. Because why not? There's 66 political power. We're still isolationist. Uh, we can't really change too much here. Yeah, because we're isolationist. We can't actually do much. Can't assign ideas because we are in a political crisis. Everything's kind of bad. Political power goes down or stability goes down. I mean, stability is already pretty low. So, you know what? Why not double down on that? More AFP, or AFP members are going for a Congress. That is A-OK. -okay. Let's get the research B bonus. Because all these technologies we do get. Uh, all the American factions do uh, benefit from the text that we choose. There's, there's probably like some argument you can make that maybe it's just better not to go with any um, research. By, by the way, I love how much faster the game is running now. It's so much, so much, so much smoother. So much smoother. We have like a small army here. I'm actually going to do something weird. I'm just going to put you right into Chicago. I don't know if this makes any difference, but in case it does. No, it won't because it's going it's to hang out like here. Go to, go to Montana. Um, Because I know. I mean, although the countries do split apart and then it's kind of just like a... Uh, a stalemate for 30 days, at which point the AI can kind of move troops around. The Hawking plan. Uh... Because it's you gain power... The Charlotte is in... Is it Tennessee? I mean, we want the American First Party to gain power. If we can get the Socialists to lose power, like, of course we want to do that as well. Because they are going to be our biggest threat. Toronto's won the Stanley Cup. Very sad time for Detroit. At least I'm pretty sure it's Detroit. I don't actually exactly remember. More SPA members announced congressional bids. That is less than ideal, but that's okay. Uh, in Washington, you know, we'll put it to the Democrats. American First Party, of course. So we want to kind of do like this weird thing where we want to boost MacArthur. And we want to weaken the SPA. Yeah, base machine tools are fine. Send you into this army as well. I think the amount of troops that we do train as the United States does impact the... Um, it, do, it does impact the amount of troops that you spawn with, all the little factions. Panama, Precious, Costa Rica. Absolutely not. How dare you. You gain political power. The police are at fault. I'm going to have negative 34 sensibility, which is some, some, some would say bad. Some would say bad. Others would say, uh, you know what? You got to do what you got to do. Okay, and Shing has capitulated. Progresses and flocks to the SPA. They're gaining a little bit of power, which is unfortunate. Uh, again, keep building military factories. Does, is Arkan like North Carolina? I'm pretty sure it's part of our territory. I don't remember if Tennessee and Arkansas are. I'm trying to remember exactly. Like Virginia, I think is kind of like this. You know, no, I think Tennessee and North Carolina do flip towards us. Do you want to build uh, everything up down here? New Industrial Act. Tennessee. I mean, like I don't want to give. I mean, where, where's Colorado? Colorado's, like, over here. Um, like, where is Iowa? It's you. So, it's, I mean, it's two factories. A little bit in Iowa. That's okay. If anything, you know what? I mean, we can't make it all super easy for us. Now we do have two more military factories. I guess we'll just keep pumping out rifles for now. Because a lot of our uh, troops that we're going to be training up are going to require those rifles. 100%. So I'm not too sure what exactly... I'm just trying to think, like, what is, what is their plan going to be? Of course it's going to be defeat MacArthur. He's going to be 
uh, the easiest to kill. Southern Democrats have aligned with the AFP. Fantastic. Of course, of course, we need to kill the um, the CSA as fast as possible. The Pacific states, we'll have like a buffer between them and us by, you know, kind of like the, the Midwest here. Or not, it's not the Midwest. It's like the Great Plains. Whatever you want to call this area. There's, they're going to be like a buffer state. So we can ignore the, yes, the Pacific states for a little bit. Uh, we do need some rubble to get that from Germany, East Asia. That seems okay. And again, so we have about, we have, I mean, we have less than a year. So we don't want to choose any technologies that's going to take longer than that. Um, because we all have to restart everything. If, we, if it actually is not finished by the time uh, the Civil War begins, we'll be in a bit of a disadvantage. Uh, even more factories. You know what? Build them in Tennessee. And in Oklahoma. I don't Again, I don't remember Oklahoma flips to us. But, like, it's just general region. I mean, we actually have already kind of filled up all of our slots. So, I guess aside from that, I'll probably put factories in the, like in the Pacific states. Like, I don't want to give anything into the north. Again, once again, for obvious reasons. Or even if we put it into, like, Maine. If Canada sees to that territory. That, that's kind of going to be okay for us. Because Canada is not going to go to war... With us, I think. Like, they can go to war the CSA. And we want Canada to actually go down their, uh, Miltris past. Corpus Christi. Greatly gains. I would love to greatly gain some, uh, political power. Thank you very much. So, I mean, like, dockyards, who cares about that? Sure, let's build these, uh, ships a little bit faster. We'll get our... War debts from the Canadians. I mean, we're not going to get them, no matter what they do refuse. I'm pretty sure what you want to do is just... Click a power. Do you want to reconcile with the Canadians? I think you do want to reconcile with them. I think that actually helps you out. Or helps us. Ah, it doesn't help us out. I don't remember, actually. Or does it only help out the federal government? We might actually maybe want to pass the tariffs. But I know you do need to do it for the Great Depression. Like, what's the modifier here? I mean, a modifier... Is that we gain power. But I think we've actually gained enough power at this point. That we're fine fixing the Great Depression. Also, Poland having gone syndicalist extremely early, by the way. We'll see how that affects the Second Wildkrieg. Because, it's not, of course, we want to get involved. Um... Will the war be over by the time we finish the Civil War? It's entirely possible. Um, like, as MacArthur, we had a pretty good run. Liberia asked for aid. Sure, why not? I don't think it actually has too much of a uh, of an effect on us. Build some naval bombers because they don't actually have much of an effect in the war at all. In fact, they, I mean, we do want to rush down at major, with major American cities. Like, if we can take over, let's say, Washington and... Uh, Denver, Colorado? That's the other major city. If we can take these cities from the United States, get the majority of federal lands to capitulate to us and not to, let's say, the uh, SPA, that would be nice. But, like, one guy at a time. That's okay. So you're having a civil war. Don't think that matters too much for what we're doing. I think if we were playing in Japan, it might matter, but we are not. They're like, no war support. Negative 42% factory output. I would consider that to be pretty bad. Um, We get some political power out of it. Yeah, I guess we'll, we'll just uh, reconcile our relationship with Canada. Yeah, I know they would refuse. I think they always refuse no matter what. So 24 political power. What can you do? Absolutely nothing. And we just lost it all. Fantastic. Um, we're really good at losing our political power. We got September, October. So we got about like half a year. A half a year to go for one more technology. So what are we going to take? Artillery upgrade? 113 days. Yeah, we can get that done. 
maybe we can fit in a handful more uh, text for us. Because I think it's March when uh, the Civil War begins. You think at this point I would just know? But I do not. But I, uh, I have a feeling it's about March. Okay. How popular is the American First Party? They're at pr a pretty decent, like, 37... No, 35%, which is uh, more than most of the other people have. I mean, the SPA is at uh, 27. I, mean, I think the SPA is actually going to be the biggest party. The press has only one vote. The conservative Democrats have one. Moderate Democrats have five. And you've all lost more uh, political power. So actually, my numbers are wrong. We're now doing even better. We're now at like... Uh, 38%. The progressives and the, and the conservative Democrats have no support whatsoever. It's a very... What are we voting on? Famine relief? Yeah, sure, why not? Well, we can vote for some famine relief. And think these are for all the aircrafts. Do not import 45 factories worth of rubber. I would consider that to be a little bit too much. Just slightly, a little bit. A little bit too much. We sent all of these guys to sunny Manito uh, Montana. Now that we've done this. War Department expansion. You know what? The U.S. Navy needs to be expanded in this time. You refuse to compromise. Okay, well, screw you too. I, I was actually trying to help you out, but I guess not anymore. So we got Excavation 1. And again, we're just trying to find technologies... That'll be researched in time for the war. Because it's October. We got three, like, we have like half a year. Which is... 180 days? I think? Like 180-ish? 182? Balance between the SPA and the AFP. So we've lost a little bit of power. But that's okay. The election is going to be happening in about one more month. Yeah, you just go over there as well. I mean, I could actually just make you horrible. But having these guys over here, it might make the AI want to garrison against um, the Pacific States when that happens. Which would be kind of interesting. Like, if you can actually kill the PSA super early, I don't know what difference that would really make. Even though I definitely don't, I don't, definitely don't think it would actually even happen. You guys actually, actually train pretty fast. Done in 16th of November, so a little bit after the election. Of course, we're going to have uh, Huey Long win the election. I think what we're going to do is probably fight the Anarchist. I mean... I feel like the... the SR, they've got to be actually pretty weakened at this point. But I feel like I've also boosted myself a lot. So actually, I'm not too sure which one actually would be better for us. Relief builds the first step into planning a share of wealth program. Because it's either like boosting your party or weakening the other. And weakening the other might still be the better choice. Because the, the, the socialists are definitely, I think, the biggest threat. Again, it doesn't really matter. Like, the American tag is not surviving the war. With all these little choices we're making... Doesn't make a difference. Okay. So obviously, we're choosing Kiwi Long. Hello, Mr. President. So, you will get inaugurated in January. Yeah, I guess we just fight... Just fight the Anarchist. Yeah, the SP is going to contest the elections. Yeah, we, we know that, Mr. Reed. Yeah, just declare them terrorist. It seems like a pretty uh, okay thing to do. We have an extra military factory. You know, it builds up, up some uh, artillery here as well. And you can go all the way to Idaho. You can have fun over there. It is Idaho, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know American states. 
Hoover has criticized the president. Aren't you the president? I mean, Kiwi Longs, he's like the, uh... He's not, he's not the president himself. He is the, uh... What do you call it? I, I, I completely forgot what the, the term is called. Yeah, so we have like half, like we have like three months. Does anything be, can anything be researched in less than, um, we can maybe get a hundred days out of this. 160 is not going to cut it. 106? Maybe? 419, 419, 142. Definitely won't. So. I mean, 100, 160 days is... That's more than half of a year. 114? Maybe. Uh, is there any, like, maybe, like, a cheap Navy tech we can go for? We can go for, like, a cheap Navy tech. Chance of at least Steve less critical hits. You know what? Speed, fleet speed when retreating goes up. That seems like an okay one to go for. And then with you, we'll just choose another Navy tech. Because those ones are actually pretty cheap. With uh, all the upgrades we have. Not the attack. We're going to go with you. 32 days. Research that, please. Because I think we also are going to get more Army Navy experience just by tag switching over to the American Union State. Which is nice. We've already, like, more than doubled the size of the American Army, so... Pretty good. We also have four more factories. I guess we'll just... Oh, we can actually build some more down in the south. Beautiful. Just military factories as far as the eye can see. The Great White Fleet has finished. So, how about you learn how to build some cruisers? Cruisers are fun. Who doesn't love cruisers? But I think with the election of Huey Long, this is going to be a good time for us to end this very first episode. So thanks everybody for watching. My name is If you've enjoyed, remember to thumbs up. If you're not enjoying, throw something down. You want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.